Hey guys, it's your boy Curveers, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 4. Where last time I left off, I did. Um. Hello? Oh, yeah, we saw um, Manny get shot, so. That. That was probably the most uh, memorable thing of last episode, really. The fact that that dumb motherfucker got shot. And uh, yeah. So now I am doing uh, work for both Packy and Francis McBurry. So. In the, queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking Hood. <laughs> Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Hell yeah. Ha! <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Since you put it that way. I don't know why I said it that way. I mean. Right. Good. All right, right. all right. Let's yeah. go. Let's do this. Packy, please tell me you're gonna bring something better than a motherfucking pistol. One has a shotgun, one has an assault rifle. Packy just like, oh, I have a pistol. Gotta have a pistol. Controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. <laughs> Ancelotti's, eh? I can't tell none of those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegarinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick <laughs> your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. 
Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what it means. That sounds like the Francis McCreary idea. I bet. Model community leader, my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Pack? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Fucking truth. Oh shit! All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building, and there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Don't go too fucking far, Nico. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. The fuck? Where are the aliens? Come there. Now where are the cars? Ow! Door. Yes. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. I'm wasting cycles. Mackie, you hang out in some strange places. First you take me to a fish market and now a waste plant? It looks like you ain't to breathe with the nature but taking them on, Patrick. You gotta learn how to treat a man right. Shut up, Gordo. Ray's giving us Ooh. a tip off about a big payment the Ancelotti's just got. We're all gonna do real well out of this. These places are messed up. I think this Ray guy's fucking with you. No one's fucking with me, Nico. This is how things work here. The whole city's turned into a fucking theme park. Only places an honest criminal can make any money are these shitholes. You think they're fucking with you, Packy? They're laughing at ya. You. you think they're having a laugh with Gerald, Gordo? You think even these Alderney Guidos would have the balls to do that? Them Guidos use you for what they like. If the peg asked Gerald to wipe his ass, he probably would. What's that say about you then, Gordo, if you're taking orders from Packy? That don't mean shit. Fucking with us or not, these jobs pay the bills, don't they? The only thing they're doing for Gordon is keeping the bookies off his back for another week. How much you lose on that swingers game last week? That shit was rigged. I got screwed in the ninth damn inning. A guy who bats 150 hits a three-run homer. Bullshit. Don't go dropping too much green after this. If the Ancelotti's here, we've been spending it up, they might finger us for this job. If that happens, the bookies will be the least of your worries. Don't trouble yourself about me, Packy. I'm sitting on my money. How can I throw it all the bookies like Gordon over here? I'm saving it up, so... I don't give a shit what you're doing with your cut. 
All I care about is you holding up your end on the job. You shouldn't save too much, Michael. You never know. You might get hit by a bus tomorrow. Nah, not St. Michael here. My cousin, Roman, he has this gambling problem as well. Can't have a dollar in his pocket without spending it at the card game. Are these his dollars he's spending or yours? What's mine is his. We are cousins. words mine he has fuck off Christ Fucking truth. Jesus, he's fucking I've been toe-to-toe the best of them. I got something in me. All right, boys, let's go inside and find this money. I am surprised I didn't kill Packy. Hey, Packy! I'm going to cover me, will you? Buddy, we got you. Let's go. Time to pay the piper. Me and Nico make a swim for it with the mo- 
money. We'll see you back at the house, Becky. He's going down. Why well, keep the money dry, won't ya? I don't know how my book is gonna be. Uh country in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac, and it ain't gonna be my Katie. Oh. did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Beck. <laughs> no problem. Eight thousand? Is that all? Jeez. Hey, yo, yo taxi! Where you want to go, Hedman? I'm going to go see the other library I am currently working for. This is it, compadre. We're here. That's great. Um, is that gonna be an important conversation? Kind of got cut off. Never mind. I guess it doesn't matter. Final interview. There we Get in there! Stop Get off me, Kate! Ah, fuck, help me! Have a nice day. Uh, hey, uh, Jimmy, how you yeah, doing? Uh, come on, Jimmy, uh, let's go to my office. Okay, that's it, Jimmy, sir. You're Six undercover. Up, oh, Hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch, looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Oh, I could use a drink. You? No. Uh, Oh, the motherfucker thinks he can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Uh, sure. Listen. Uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that uh. ruin his life? Now, people don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit, slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I... He's got it all wrong. He's got... But one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? <sighs> Some lawyer. This big white shoe firm thinks he's a crusader some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face hey some... enough enough sorry look the guy's name is tom gold <laughs> thinks he's got something on me I'm gonna go to the da with it use it to get into congress okay yeah so it's him or me and it might as well be him, right? But he's hard to get to. The guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not in the showers, a job interview. Then 
You can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure. It'll be easy. You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. But, uh, get yourself a suit. Okay. I'll email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man! Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. It does. <laughs> This is it, my compadre. We're here. Is this me or does this game take uh, a lot longer than five does? Don't spill shit on the computers. Hmm. Maybe it's just. Maybe it's just a man. Hope the internet is worth it. Is uh, it's well, I have to go and get a suit. I've sent off the application. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. Call when you hear about the interview. I just need one wow. more. Wow! I must still be high from smoking apple. My mistake. Sorry. You better fall back before I squeeze and bust. Take your time, bro. Look around. Don't look like suits. Bro. What the fuck is that? Any concierge? Mr. Bellick, this is Karen from Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister. We'd like to arrange an interview for you at the earliest convenience. Come into our offices at noon tomorrow. Is that all right? I can free that period up in my schedule. Super. Your interview will be with Mr. Goldberg. Press the buzzer and we'll let you in. Have a nice day. 
I need your car, man. This guy's an asshole. I have an interview with Goldberg tomorrow. Perfect. This smug bastard ain't gonna know what's coming at him. Teach him for sticking his nose in other people's business. It's a fire. Welcome to the world of Perseus. No offense, sweetie, but that outfit is hideous. I've got one of those mice. Yo, you better hide that bullshit. Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McCreary now these days? He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in a place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. Use it or drop that shit. You're gonna look smoking. Perfect. Have a great day. Come on, James. Stupid Malaka. Only should double us. I mean, to become a lawyer. It's a very hard mission. Nico, man, look, I ain't a pimp. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes me, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. Huh, fair enough. Right. Oh, oh wait. Oh. That's how far.
Well, uh, this allows me to do two things. One, it allows me to keep ahead, I think it's six hours in this game. So it'll be 6 a.m. Yep. And it also allows me to end the video because it's been 30 minutes. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. I will see you all next time. Like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy the video. So, uh, yeah. But until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.